here up at uh, Ice Lake on, what is it, August the 18th today. And uh, we're having a little rest before we move on to our camp. Everybody's uh, all spry and ready to go for some more fun and excitement up in the so-called divide. Isn't that right, guys? Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. right? <laughs> Hoorah! Hoorah! <laughs> yes, uh, somebody said that this trail up to Ice Lake was uh, just a nice little, nice little trail, but um, I think they might have been lying. Um, and I think that might have been... Yeah, I think it was me that said that. Or maybe it was Karen. But anyways, we made it. Not too bad. If you want to check out Karen's scratched up legs, there they are right there. She probably doesn't want you to see them. No. Okay, here we are. The uh, rock slides that we had to climb up going up on this hotel Dubai. This is coming up from our camp on day three. It's a bit of a climb, but not too bad. Just stopping for a little uh, breather on the, the approach up to Crossroads Peak, which we'll be heading down to get down to Emma Lake shortly. So these guys having a great time down there. Just enjoying the view, shooting the breeze. Not a bad day I've always been a up here in the mountains. Not a bad day at all. You know? Doesn't this look like fun up here on the ridge? Doesn't it look great? Who wouldn't want to come up here in the mountains and enjoy a nice little hike like this, eh? What a beautiful day. South Tile Divide.
Yeah, Rob, right here. <laughs> That's a big one. Putting in a little advertisement for his uh, run for council again. Oh, shit. No. Hey, Rob, a little political speech Stop for the boys, for the, for the people? Come on. Oh Rob, no? I'll make mountains the property of the people. No, they already are the property See of the that? people. See that? There he goes. Oh, oh, here we are. Thanks, thanks, Rob, for doing that for us. Yeah. No, no, not me. Emerald Valley, just enjoying the view. As you can see, the color of this lake. You can see why they call it the Emerald Valley. In the distance up here is the print. Well, here's Bob and Murray cutting a path up a little bit of an ice sheet, snow, snow bank, so that we can access the ridge going up to the Prince. This is the 22nd of August 2018 on the South Pole Divide. Kind of a hazy, smoky day. But actually we're thankful for the haze this morning because we're coming up about 1,600, 1,800 feet from our camp way down below at that little lake down there. And, uh, so Bob's making a nice path for us across the, the ice. Well, this is our camp at uh, Lorac Lake. It's August the 20... Hmm, what is it? August what? The 22nd, Wednesday. This is day five of our South Powell Divide trek and uh, as you can see we've got an absolutely gorgeous little oasis here with a beautiful lake for swimming in. And And you can see what some people will just scoot up without ropes. They, uh, they scoot through here and up this crack right here. 
some of us prefer having a rope hanging off that little tree up there and so that would mean that somebody would have to scramble which you know it's doable for rock climbers but anyways this is the uh, take a peek down there that's uh, just looking down there I'm, uh, I'm not a happy camper but anyways this is it you see that little ribbon there somebody's marked it and this is one of the ways up the JC Key okay so there you are you saw it now I'm leaving we've, we've actually been through that We've actually gone through this route, but we were uh, let down on with uh, proper harnesses and ropes. So anyways, that was a few years back. But we're actually going to be taking a new route. Not a new route. Obviously, the route's been here for, who knows, millennia, right, Rob? Could be already. Could be. But it's going to be up through here, and uh, I'll just be videotaping that as we do it. You grab the pack, you're going to be okay. Yeah. Because the pack's dangerous. The boobs are flexible to find their own position. So I'll leave this a little bit slack so you have room to move, Peter. Just get a few people up through this, what's called the big step on the JC Key. It's Karen's turn. That was Peter that just went through and now Karen's going to come after. Just hooking on a safety line. Not totally necessary, but it certainly gives you that sense of security when you're going through a bit of an exposure there. You've got about a 50 foot drop below, which of course is not uh, something that anybody wants to uh, tumble down. So there we go. There goes Karen through that little spot. And she's terrified of heights, just so that you know that. But here she goes, scrampering up there like a mountain goat. Here we are. I think I'll just shut this off, and I guess it'll be my turn so pretty quick. So I just took that step down here. That's the uh, the big step on the JC Key. It's not too bad. I just got to kind of crawl under this rock right here. I'll give you a little tour through the cave. I can't believe people find that crack on the other side exposed like that. What is this? Yeah, yeah this is a beauty. <laughs> well, the only reason that we did is because. Looking down that ramp, I, yeah. we, didn't, we didn't know that this. Well, you know, come, yeah. I haven't seen this yet, so I'm gonna. My my, res, my judgment is still uh, reserved to see what we're gonna go up just now. But right? your your view from the direction you're going is completely different from oh, place yeah. to place. Yeah, for sure. This is the uh, the other side of the the different route through the JC Key. So we're just gonna do a little pan over here and kind of came through this little spot right here. There we are, looking down. Down is worse than coming up. Yeah. All that's yeah. all I can see. Well, this could be one of the driest times that's ever been gone through, yeah. too. Yeah. I, you know, I, I think the climate, you know, that we're, uh, this has made it a lot easier. So when you come down on the, for the JC Key, you come down this little ravine here, then you go back up through that little notch and over the other side and that's the, that's the key you don't go down this ravine down here because you'll die go up this way and you're probably gonna live all right so that's the that's the story with the JC key all right so there you go so for anybody who's uh, afraid of coming up here that's a piece of cake anyone for a JC key certificate
And Rob's giving us giving out the JC Key certificates, which is uh, is which fruit, is, uh, fruit leather amazing. made by fruit leather Janet, made his by wife. Wonderful wife, yes. Janet. Yes. Oh, a, do you want one? Absolutely. <laughs> thank you. There you go, Clark. Thank you, Rob. That's very kind. Thank you, <laughs> and thank you, Janet. We would probably love to be up here. It's oh. it's fruit leather. Yeah, August 23rd, 2018. We're standing on Overlook Mountain, enjoying the views. It's Bob and Rob and Karen. They're just viewing the route that we just came across. You see a, a lake down below us there, that's Carroll Lake. And then one just above it is Larac Lake, and that's where we camped last night. And then we hiked along this ridge. The Keys down in that area there. The JC Key, and then we're going to be camping, well we have our tent set up already at the base of that knob over in that direction, which is one of the three, the triple peaks. And then you can see Diadem in the, in the distance over there. And then you can see Frida, and you can see the Marmot, also known as Tom's Thumb. And then you're looking also down at uh, Goat Lake and Powell Lake, you can see the entrance from Goat to Powell there. Absolutely beautiful afternoon. The clouds lifted. We were kind of socked in most of the day, but uh, you know how can you not enjoy this wonderful view like this? Well, that's all we have for today. This is morning on day seven up on the South Powell Divide. Enjoying a nice hot cup of coffee. Thankfully the uh, weather turned out pretty good this morning. Yesterday we had some lots of fogs and fog and clouds and wind and it was a little chilly up here last night. We got actually had frost on the packs this morning when we got out of the tent. But anyways, here we are. It's uh, gonna be a beautiful day. Yeah. Sun shining as you can see, and if you look in that direction, way far in the distance, that's um, Mount Alfred, and right on the, at the base of that is Ice Lake, where we actually started this this trek seven days ago, or six six days ago, I guess it is. Well, anyways, um, it's uh, looking forward to the next couple of days. Just two more days, two easy days, and we'll be we'll be back to civilization. But uh, what a fantastic time we've had with uh, a bunch of good guys. Just great days, you know, just great days. 
what, a, what an awesome trek! You know, you can see the root. You can't really see the root from from uh, from here, but it's down. There's a kind of a path down by this middle peak from the Triple Peaks, and over in that direction, along there, there's a prince in the background, Princess Bride, right in a in a hollow kind of in, in over there is where our last nights was spent, Lorac Lake, and right over here is where the uh, the J C Key is. So uh, yeah, just awesome stuff, just incredible stuff up here in the, the hills of Powell River. Now we'll. That'll be it for now. It's August the 24th it is, 2018. You guys are all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed this morning, as you can see. Perfect. Uh -oh. Peter's wearing, is sporting his, uh, his sleeping bag coat. I want to get in the background now, though. That puts it in context, right? <laughs> I didn't know you were wearing your bivy sack. Make make some kind of witty comments oh, for the camera. It's seven o'clock in the morning. It's too early. <laughs> too early for video cameras? Oh, come on, guys. Too early, too too early, early for too much really keen wit. Yes, <laughs> that's okay. That's what it is, yes. And uh, Karen, she's having her breakfast in the tent here. Enjoying it, I'm sure. Anyways. Fabulous morning up in the Nuck, or the, up the Triple Peaks. Their camp here down here is the uh, the little cooking area where the guys' water is about boiling. I see steam coming off. I saw some steam pooping out from underneath the lid there. So well, that's it for now.